It's TNT Tuesdays, and it's week 14, which means Steelworks. And this has really cool music, in my opinion. Really like this track, and I really like the start view here. It's this, like, big ominous wooden box in this big storage area of the Steelworks. And the night sky box really complements it well, and you get shown the red key, which is where you obviously need to go. It's very, very cool and atmospheric, and that's I think why I really like this map, so I think I said at the end of last week's episode that I really like Steelworks, and I was looking forward to this one personally, and yeah, because I think this map has a really cool vibe to it. It's, you know, a classic TNT, maybe the um, gameplay isn't that amazing, but the vibe it creates is very cool. Now with your typical sort of crate storage area, you've got to look behind everything, and indeed this is here. And I have to admit, I did just get about five minutes into recording this map just before, and then there's a whole bunch of noise outside that I'm certain would have been picked up on the microphone, so I've just started this again. I only played like the first couple of rooms, so it's all good. And I'm very familiar with this map anyway, so the majority of this will still be my typical semi-blind stuff. Well, except that I know the map really, really well. But yeah, these first couple of rooms, I'd explored them already, and uh, yeah, so I know what's going on in here and the start area. But pretty much as soon as we get to the sort of famous Crusher room is where it'll become semi-blind again. But yeah, these rooms. So we're in the factory now, the actual steelworks. These um, pumping machines that the demons seem to have filled with blood that like hurts you. Super cool. I mean, sort of gory and yeah, that's right, we get a super shotgun. There you go, see it's going to be partially semi-blind still because I've already forgot about the super shotgun. Um, but yeah, I mean, these things, they it's really well done, like really uh, creative to be so minimalist and yet give you this cool sense of like this yucky steelworks machine that's now pumping demon blood. Cool, cool stuff. And then there's like all these little tunnels connecting these big like, you know, work rooms. Oh yeah, and there's all these guys. Great fun to mow down with the super shotgun. And... Um, yeah, it just has this really like relatively realistic vibe to it for a Doom map, which is something you can say about a lot of TNT. It does feel like this sort of factory room area and then all the corridors connecting them is like, you know, the cleaner, nicer sort of admin tunnels or something, if you know what I mean. Right, I might swap to this here because these snipers up here are pretty annoying. Get out of here, Spectre. And yeah, the blood hurts, so there is a backpack here that's worth grabbing, obviously, but yeah, ouch. And the shotgun, I guess. Damn, well, we get a med kit up here. And the use of lighting here is really cool. I think actually a few TNT maps have cool lighting, and I haven't really pointed it out, but yeah, that's very cool. The bright lights near some of these lights. Oh, well, you know what I mean, sorry, like the brightness near these lights and then the shadow. I mean, I know a lot of Doom maps from this era did that, but it's done pretty well on this map. Okay, now we're ready to go to this big crusher room, and obviously this is one of the most memorable parts of the map, possibly the most memorable part, and the thing that I remember from playing this map a lot as a kid is that there are goodies at the end of these crushes, but they're super dangerous. So like, they're well worth exploring, but you've got to be pretty damn careful, because the crusher will get you, there's a damaging floor that will get you, but it is worth it for all the goodies. And of course there are four secrets on this map that I need to find, so I don't want that yet. This is the one we have to go in, because it's the one that's not actually operating right now. But there's some of these ones that you like, uh, shoot the back of, and you run towards them and that sort of stuff, and I do not remember which one's which. Um, so I guess the thing to do is to just start shooting them, and see what happens. We'll use the map as well to check so that's the one that we already know. Okay, yep, that's a shooting one. That's good luck. That's good luck. Okay, what about this one? Does anything happen if I shoot this? No. And that's the one that we want to go down, so what about shooting this? Okay. Switch. That opens up what? 
Yeah, here's a bit of this like 90s crypticness for you. Um, and then which was the one that I shot and nothing happened? Is it this? Yeah, because that opened that with the rocket launcher. So, oh, this is really scary. I should grab the radiation suit. Although the crusher might need SR50 here if I need to make it back. This is scary. Let's go. Oh god, let me in. Okay. Yeah, so I remember that from... Oh, we're at the start. Oh, okay, there's pain elementals. And it just died? It got crushed in the machinery. <laughs> Cop that. Okay, so we get led back to the start there, and I think that's... Well, it allows me to take out these imps now that I can see them. Yeah, I could hear growling, and I wondered if it was another one. Oh, and they've come out of there. Look. Whoa. <laughs> see those lost souls? Um... They've come, oh, and I've run out of radiation suit. That might be bad. So they got let out of things up there. I've just this backpack here. So getting up there must be one of the secrets, surely. And yeah, being let back to the start is cool in that secret because yeah, you need the red key to return. And these light goggles are probably given to us for a reason as well. So I better get a move on. So this is where you're meant to go, and I don't have the radiation suit for it now. So SR50. There you Okay, at least we got medkits at the other end of that. That floor damages a lot. Right, oh, and this is probably where you were meant to... Jesus, I was not paying attention. This is where you were meant to fought the pain elementals. That's what they're there for. To harass you a little bit as you're trying to grab the blue key. Alright, now we have to go back. And go through the blue key bars, I guess. Oh, and this is on now. Alright, well, SR50. I barely SR50 there at all. Okay. And let's do this because this is going to hurt as well. Oh, and the light goggles are running out. Cool. Oh, this is off. Alright, well, just SR50 across this damaging floor. Whoa. That's nasty, you know. Like, look how much health I lost mainly from the damaging floor. No wonder they give you a radiation suit, but they only give you one. Oh my god, this room. Ah, oh, doesn't this go dark? Like as soon as you step in there? Oh, okay, I'm wasting my shotgun here. I don't think a single one of those bullets hit. But yeah, I remember this room. And isn't this a damaging floor too? So yeah, I definitely want to take out as many of these guys as possible and then just run and it's like a little maze. Okay, is that all of them? Yeah, I guess it'll have to do. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm just gonna push forwards. Okay, yep. Okay, at least that doesn't damage as much as those other damaging floors. Damn. Whoa. What the hell is this? Okay, well, let me just. What the? Okay, well, there must be a teleporter on this side, too. Yes. It's a secret. Man, I'm not sure what the hell happened here at all. This I don't remember from my childhood whatsoever. But okay. There's a secret pit there, but now we're at the red key. Anyway. Okay. What the hell? I did not remember that. But that's cool. Can you just walk out here? No. Okay, so I definitely remember what happens in here, though. Of course, the red key is booby-trapped, and we get to see what was in the big wooden box. So, oh. Oh, yeah. Damn. That's a lot of hit scanners, but there's one of them. I think the first one in TNT. I think. We've seen a cyber demon in the previous map. Now we get to see the lady herself. And I think it's a pretty cool use of a spider demon. I remember as a kid... Uh, when the spider demon came out of its box, I was pretty surprised and impressed that I was so surprised. 
So we can just stand up here, I think, and take... Well, actually, I don't have anywhere near enough ammo. Okay, and we get one of these. So I want to... If I'm going to grab that, I want to have a plan and just run. I assume it's for getting back through the Lost Soul Room. So let's just go. Because now it's dark. Alright, well, at least they give you the suit. That's pretty kind. But I need to... Probably use this suit to I saw you get uh, back through the like crusher with the damaging floor. Oh yeah, and of course like whole big hordes of guys are let out to harass you on your way back. It's pretty cool. Like the gameplay loop of this map is like you know you have to fight your way through a bunch of dudes to get to the red key, and then you fight your way through a bunch of dudes back to the final boss fight with the spider demon. You know, a simple but effective game loop that this map does well that some other maps in TNT don't do so well. Okay. SI-50. Oh my god. It's in multiple stages. Okay, well I think I have to run through... Actually, maybe not. I think I've done all the crusher running. Oh, and I do have three of the four secrets. Oh yeah, so it'll be getting up into the machinery where the backpack was. Somehow. However the hell you meant to do that. I prefer a lot more shells. Because I have to take out a spider demon. Well actually I prefer a plasma rifle or a BFG. If I'm being totally honest. And then... Oh! I bet you that lowers that floor. Yeah. Okay, there does seem to be a... Oh! Get wrecked. Trying to ambush me. But yeah, I remember this. There's lots of like hit scanners and imps and stuff. Like when we go back out into the uh, the room with the other crushing machinery, there's just like a whole bunch of imps, if I remember correctly. Well, and these guys. But how do I get up to where the backpack is? Hmm. Not cool. I don't want to have to go on a giant secret hunt. And hopefully once I've taken out all the enemies in this room, the kill count will go to 200 flat and it'll just be the spider demon. Oh, there's imps still in these little tunnels. But how do I get up there? Hmm. So this is a secret. The auto map here is telling me. But how the hell do I get there? There's got to be... I just lower these bits of machinery. Hmm. So I'm trying to do this now because then I can just go fight the imps in the tunnels. Yeah, that's just this. So the auto map's not suggesting there's any way up onto the machinery from in the tunnel you can get to. Oi. Still five more kills besides the spider demon. Hang on, how do we get back in those? Oh, it was like through the... This, wasn't it? Yeah, do I actually want to run through that? It's going to cost me a lot of health. Um, There's got to be a way to just get onto the machinery from in these rooms. Well, I mean, there doesn't have to be, but maybe there is. Oop, there's another in. Oh! Aha! I thought so. So... It lowers over some line def in here. Yes. Okay. Oh, and we have to make it through the machinery. Oh! Okay, that's a bit sketchy. I really don't want to get crushed. Oh man, when's the timing going to line up? Is this because of that bloody pain elemental that got crushed? Yeah, that was one way to do it. Okay, and that's all the secrets. Can we get a chainsaw? Well, I mean, I guess if I just kill the imps from... Oh, here we go. And some more uh, shells. Perfect. What the... There's still more imps to take out. Unless there's like a couple of extra... Oh, okay, there's one. But there's still one more enemy besides the spider demon. Is there anything over here? Just a backpack. Aha! 
Okay, the exploration, rewarded for exploration. And yeah, this sort of map with the kind of vibe it creates and everything, it sort of encourages that exploration. I'm starting to learn, you see I'm playing so much TNT, that was cool, that I'm getting the feel for what you're meant to do. Okay, time to super shotgun Her Majesty. Not the most thrilling thing ever, but you know, you got to remember back in 95 slash 96 when they were making and releasing this, the idea that they would suddenly pit you against a spider demon with just the super shotgun was, uh, you know, pretty hectic. Nowadays everyone's so used to the spider demon being a massive pushover that it doesn't seem that big a deal, but back then, I remember as a kid, trust me, the way I finished this map was to just run past it and be like, oh god, to the exit. Man, that was quick. That felt particularly quick, as if that spider demon had like half its normal health or something. Oh, and I'm missing two items. How annoying, you know, when you get that few. Why do these crates lower? That's kind of bizarre. Just to give the spider demon more room to walk around? Oh, anyway. Okay. Steelworks. Bit of a strange one, but I like it. Uh, like I was saying, the aesthetic with all the machinery is cool. The boss battle at the end is a cool touch. The way you sort of come back to where you started. And you have to sort of go on this big adventure to get the red key that you see right at the start. And then as you come back, all the rooms have opened up with more dudes in them. It's a cool little gameplay loop, you know. Tried and true. And yeah, cool vibe. Decent enough gameplay. Just those crushes with the, like, thank God that I remember that there was stuff at the end of them from playing the map as a kid. Because that's pretty cryptic. And, you know, running to the end of that one uh, with, out, that you don't shoot the end of... Um, you can easily get crushed if it's died of the damaging floor in that thing. And the damaging floor in there is way too much. So yeah, I mean, that is a, a black mark against this map. I think that damaging floor should have been either a lot less or the crushes should have been slower somehow because they had like a taller ceiling or something. It's a bit crazy and a bit cryptic in terms of secrets. But of course, overall, I'm going to give this map a thumbs up. I really like it. So that makes TNT 13 out of 14. I've only given a thumbs down to Metal. Steelworks gets a big thumbs up, but next week. Next week is the first map I've been genuinely dreading, Dead Zone. I do not have good memories of Dead Zone. I remember not liking it, even as a kid. So here we go, I'm going to finally play Dead Zone again for the first time in years. See, maps like Steelworks and Nukage Processing and Crater, I probably have booted up and played just randomly out of nowhere at some point in the last sort of five to ten years, just for a bit of fun. A map like Dead Zone? No way. I haven't played it properly for a couple of decades now, 20 years or so. Uh, yeah, probably about that long at least. Um, not a fan. I don't have good memories of Dead Zone, so let's see how it goes. It could be the next thumbs down for sure though, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Steelworks. Decent map with only one small floor and those cryptic secrets, but overall, cool vibe, decent gameplay. Can't complain. Good map.